All right, the day is the day. I gotta screw around with this Nissan Cube. So I gotta take this chunk and put it in there so this thing will work. Uh, I'm gonna make this video like a full fledged replacement, but you know how I am. I'll sit there and talk and say, well, I'll do one thing and do something completely different. But let me show you what it's doing. It starts up and runs. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, hold on. Uh, the key was in the hole, was here the whole time. All right, let me put this there. So there's no codes present. Um, I just went to the generic feature. It doesn't go anywhere except for reverse kind of. I have to rev it up. My foot is at the floor. I ain't doing anything. Yeah, look at that going nowhere. I'm going to floor it in reverse. Here we go. Nothing. <laughs> it just it just barely moved and it can't like right now it's at the floor. Uh oh. That's a lot going on here. My power break it does not want to move. Barely want to move. Let me put it this way. It can't move on its own weight. There's no codes. I'm throwing transmission in it. Transmission shot. Let me let you hear the noise it's making. It'll like make a squeezing noise. Like a power steering pump. So the fluid level's okay. Oh, let me back it up a little bit. So the fluid level's okay. Space so I can't back it in. It's just the transmission's broke. So there's again, there's no codes. <sighs> All right, let me fool around with this for a little bit, get a little bit on camera, and mainly, uh, I just want to show you the conclusion that you know what happens when we take something that has no check engine light codes, and you know, seemingly you would think it's a throttle body, but that's just not the case in this instance. And uh, we can see what happens. But that squeezing noise is just a, usually a clear indication that the transmission is shot or something has malfunctioned inside of it. Now, um, one thing I could do before I tear into it, show you some data. I mean, why not, right? I mean, I, I'll try to be as informative as possible. At least we can look at some information and show what it's like after the fact. So let me pull up transmission control information. Okay, so here in the transmission control module, we do have codes. ECM is not going to possess any codes, even in, in the generic or global portion. If you go to like the auto zone and get your car scan, that's what they're going to show you what I showed initially. But with the bi-directional tool in the transmission control module, these are the two codes that are stored. I could clear them. Yes, let's see what happens. Uh, I got it jacked up, so. Still. Yeah, still no throttle. I got the throttle to the floor. Um, let's go just read the codes here. There's no fault codes. Put it in reverse. Yeah, I went into limp mode. Let's see if there's any codes now. No code still. I probably gotta back out. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. Well, when I initially assessed this, it um, it had codes and they came back after a while of messing with it. I probably need to cut it down and start it back up, but let me go to, so I wonder if this is initial, like a current line pressure and probably a secondary line pressure. I'm assuming, again, this is just straight up conjecture at the moment without looking at theory of operation or the description of operation. 
I wonder if I can put it, uh, let me pull up some, something else. Um, let me go see if we can see where our gear command is. Why ain't this phone to focus? Stay. So we can get a reference of park, drive in neutral, or the range switch. Um, there we go, range right there. This will be fine for some basic information. So we're going to go to reverse. There's our values. Neutral. Drive. Low. I'm going to pull up one more thing just in case. Let's see if engine RPM or engine speed is up here. There we go. I swear I want to say a secondary pressure or something. I don't know what SEC is usually abbreviated for second. All right, so break back and park. We got some numbers. We got something we can compare to when we put the new one in there or the newer used one. This is the one that I had pulled down and had all the metal in the pan and stuff. So it worked. So hopefully this should work. All right, let me tear into it. All right, it's been two days. I got the transmission put back in there. I got some of the coolant top. Well, it was not always topped off, but I'm, I'm just in the process of adding uh, transmission fluid. So it's got this CTF, CTVF fluid. And I thought this was going to be more of a clear one. I remember some of the older ones having like clear fluid, but yeah, I guess it depends on the type of transmission. Obviously it do. But this has more of a green kind of tint. I'm gonna see if I can get this on camera, but that's the color of the fluid. So it's already kind of dark anyway. I don't know how much that picked up on camera. I want to look, but then again, I don't want to spill it. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah. So I think I got like four quarts in here. It should be enough to circulate engaged transmission. So. Uh, <sighs> I know I got the torque converter drained completely. I pulled it out. The, the torque converter didn't have anything in it. So main thing is, first startup is always going to make me a little nervous. Uh, hopefully the engine rotates. Some engines you can't spin backwards, and I think I did it with this one. So I'm a little nervous. I've read the horror stories. What we're going to do, uh, we're going to look at the PID data and look at that, what I saw was SEC, secondary pressure. I think that's that's had to be what it meant had to been i need to do my part and look it up but if i don't tell you if i don't look it up now between now and before the end of the video then i'll put it in the, in the video so let's start up and let's see what happens i need to get my other computer but i'm gonna get i mean i'm gonna use this one we're gonna go in the car and look at this computer Like that whining noise it's making. Maybe that's normal. Maybe once it warms up and circulate, it'll sound a lot better. Yeah, there's nothing on the dipstick, so I'm gonna add some more fluid. Now we'll say it does engage in gears. It does engage in reverse and engage in drive very confidently. Sip. 
So I know we're in good shape. All right, here we are. So I got the rain switch pulled up, target pressure, SEC pressure. Uh, again, I haven't found that out yet. We got line PRS, imagine it's pressure. And i um, not sure what this LU PRS is, but uh, something might be worth finding out. But I just want to keep that up here just because uh, SEC press. So we can see now that the SEC press it's right here these are actually meeting both the desired and expected pressure so let's go in and reverse that's yeah, a little higher but that's that's okay there it go and again the fluid has not circulated all the way yet neutral 76 and 72 drive is actually meeting the desired pressure so yeah now before it was S S E the that SEC press was at 10 now is re uh, reading what it's supposed to I wish all cars are like this like you don't have to diagnose it too much you just have a desire versus actual hey this is where it needs to be it give you a range and you can actually look at the value and see where it needs to be cars will be so easy but you know I guess it'd be too many pids to be putting inside the uh, computer there so this is what it is but at least we've got the main one so I, 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 I just comparing you know apples to apples I guess apples to oranges because we had a bad one now we got apples to apples with a good one so I'm gonna take this on a test drive and uh, we'll be back all right all right just got off my test drive I have driven 3.3 miles for a customer supplied transmission that's all you get uh look at the values here everything's working fine it moved on its own weight didn't have any issues with those three miles i don't know what to say so i guess in the future if anybody have any problems especially me because i'm just keeping this for my personal information because i don't get a lot of cvt transmissions i'm definitely going to see if i can you know assess these utilize these line pressures for diagnostic purposes because i mean it did have throttle position issues like it felt like it was a throttle issue but i guess because the pressures weren't adequate it went into a limp home mode but you, one would think because there's no check engine light well they probably may throw a throttle body at it or uh, accelerate a pedal you know so hey um uh, oh, more info from me so i'm glad i got this I'm glad i got these information pulled up we got some comparisons but hey if anything happened I'll definitely update and I don't know if I said that the labor time on this is about seven hours this was very easy I did do a video on how to remove this and you pretty much simply just install it in reverse order so I'll tag that video in the description but if anything happened I'll definitely update hit that link subscribe to the channel stay informed how to reach out to my work see you on the next one